Hello guys and welcome, this is one of our very first tutorials here and uh, so we're gonna start by Minecraft coding series and this we're gonna start up the basic commands and we're gonna add a hacksaw java file so you'll have to have MCP set up, I'll link to a good tutorial in the description box down below <clears throat> so once you have all that set up and decompiled you're gonna wanna open well, you can do with Eclipse and set up the workspace, or if you're doing it manually, you want to go source, Minecraft, net, Minecraft, SRC, and then you're going to want to go open Entity Client Player MP. So, I'm just going to go bypass it, apologies. You're going to want to open this file. So this, I'm just going to choose no not choose a default program but a uh, notepad plus plus and this is basically what you're gonna do using that but if you're using Eclipse I'll just drag it from my second screen you're gonna come to this file and now in this file we're gonna do a lot of things in here like we're gonna add the force field in here and that's one of the first thing we'll do so you wanna scroll all the way down until you go to send chat message now I have it written all in here but uh, I'll just do it manually here so wait it's also in here so let me just remove it uh, alright so I removed it all so you're gonna start with if par1 str dot starts with and I'm just gonna leave that blank I'm gonna go else and then, if it's an else, sorry, I have a backup version here, which I'm looking off of this dot send q u e u e add to send q u e u e new packet three chat par par one str. Great. So this will send a regular chat message now. If starts with, I'm going to choose the exclamation point key and I'm going to start with light. And now, before we go any further, we're going to need a hacks.java file. I've already had this written up, so basically, in here, you're going to want to put what I have here. So, package net.minecraft.src. If you uh, if you use Eclipse, it should automatically add this with you. You don't need any imports, and then you're just going to want to put this content in here. Uh, feel free to pause the video and to put it in. That's how it looks like in Notepad. And uh, next, we're going to want to. You can see this. This was just. Uh, this was just for the fun of it. I was on a little server, and I created a mod which is on bucket so you can force op yourself which I'm not going to show how to do but so once you're going to make sure they're all set to false and no clip I'm not going to show you how to do so you're going to want to start by going if okay so for the light ones I'm just going to open up this you're going to I'll just do a couple here so you're going to want to go mc.render global dot load renders and then you want to go hacks dot fulbright or whatever you name the file dot and then the variable is equal to hacks dot full right so what it means when you enter this if it's enabled it will disable it but if it's disabled it will enable it and what I usually do I go else if par one str dot starts with x ray, and then I'd just close in this little. It's gonna throw it all in here, so you can see it's all nicely laid out here. Ah, this was for testing the default entity no clip function, I guess since that one didn't work and I had to create my own there's that so now whoop, stupid graphical bugs um, we're gonna wanna go up and uh, let's just scroll up 
into the send motion updates function we're going to want to go down we're going to do hacks.force field so that's the code behind it they'll put it up a little bit more and so basically what it's doing is getting the entity list so what entities are around it and then get the distance and then it's if below 25d and then it says if it's sorry it's hard to explain for newbies so basically like if if you're near it enough that it can attack you it will attack the entity now if you go hacks.embot you're gonna have to import the list importing the list is okay what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to come up you have to import java.util.list exactly like that. Feel free to pause the video if you need to do it. I'm not going to rewrite this since this was a lot of code. So uh, if hacks.aimbot, uh, it's probably easier to see. I'll post the code in the description. So this is what it's doing. If there's an aimbot, there's a list, so we're creating a list of everybody online. If we can get the username and is equal to the player's username, we'll continue. And then we'll entity players getting the entity players. And then if entity can be seen, face the entity. No fall. It's just adding a play packet eleven motion saying that you're you're not not on the ground I assume. I'm, I'm not very good at explaining this stuff but I I do know what it does because I coded it. So um, <coughs> next I'm gonna scroll down here let's see. Do, do, do. That's about it for this. Make sure you have all these here and uh, now you probably are gonna want to know like well how do I modify like Minecraft and stuff. Well that's going to be in the next video. Thanks for watching. Um, next video we'll do some GUI customizations like this. And let me just open up debugger. And we're going to create some customize this text here. And we're going to colorize it. We're going to change all this down here. We can do some select adventures. We can create a default C text. We can change this. We can change these buttons and layouts. We can change these over here. And like if you click here, we can change all that. And that's in the next tutorial. And that's the basic tutorial here.